What's up guys, we're at the Tri-Valley Card Show. One day Sunday local show. I didn't really know what to expect, but it is popping off already. Look at this. One day show, Sundays are usually a little quieter. Man, San Francisco Card Show kills it every time. Super, super happy. Got the setup right here, looking good. I'm a broke boy, I only have one showcase. Dollar boxes. So full transparency, I paid 100 bucks for the table today. I was iffy, I'm like, eh, it's a local show, will I make it back? We'll see, I'm gonna try to keep a sort of tracker and I'll show you guys if it was actually worth for me to sell. Cause those hands and lights can't stop me I just hold on for dear life Yet I can't give up this feeling That I get when looking down for this high So I'm, I'm interested in these three. This one I would probably hold off on. I, I, I've been in the same exact position on cards, so it's not unfair. It's just because the last 10 did 616. 616, man. Yeah. I thought it was seven. Was, did you see the 710? Was there a 710 also? Uh, I didn't see it, but I believe okay, so it. So then maybe the 710 was the 616, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. I thought I saw it, so yeah, it's so weird. But I get it, and it wouldn't, and the thing is, I've been in that position too, and you can get your number for that card. Hopefully, it's just especially once football starts, yeah. maybe. So you're mainly interested in trading for the McCaffrey? I think I could definitely do partial trade for the McCaffrey. Um, that's most, I mean, actually this too. I would definitely take that offer again. The thing is, is I'd be open to it. I think it may just be tough because I would need room on this, so. Yeah, I got room. I do have room. The trout. Was the last sale 320? Was I right? Was it? Yeah, I think it might have even been 330. Somewhere like 320, 330. I find it sometimes, it's sometimes hard on super liquid cards like this. Because I have to have room on it and there's not much room for me to sell to someone else. You know what I mean? So, okay, if this is in your case, what would you hope to sell it for if the last cop was 330? You think you'd get maybe 300 out of it realistically? Maybe? Just on a little yeah. On a trout? Ask yeah. So, okay, so like I said, I'm in it for a decent price, so if you you know your amount of room, okay. you're free to make offers. So, all right, I'll just I'll just throw my offer out at least. This is like a two hundred dollar card. So full value to fifty bucks, two fifty. So full value two fifty. Yeah. So. And these were full value probably around about let's call it a thousand even. So I would want to be into them for like a thousand. But I'd want to be into them for like seven fifty. That's pretty damn fair. Yeah. Okay, and if you do the deal, I'm just gonna throw that in. So okay, I appreciate it. Okay, so the, so these is 250 full value. Yeah. People already could you give me a two? I could do 225 if you if I we could get to that number on these. I, th I think I can get to that number on those. I just want to include these in it if possible. Awesome, I'd like yeah. to walk away with these. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, so, yeah. You could do 550 cash. You'd want to be at 525. Yeah. I think for it to make sense for me. You want to flip or you want to just go in the middle? You want to split it down right down the middle? Because I'm giving up that much cash, I think I would be firm at... Uh, 525? Yeah. Let's do it. I, I'm into the, I, I want to move those. Let's do yeah. it. Can I snap a picture real quick? Yeah. 525? 525. All right. So you guys should have seen the Trout and Morant deal earlier. Got the Trout at 250 value. Just sold it for 300 cash plus 50. So that's half the table right there. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think we'll at least break even tonight. All right, guys, this video is sponsored by Veriswap, the easiest, safest way to make trades online. You can do it from home. I've been making a ton of deals on there. I just picked up two sick, messy cards. So definitely sign up using my link in the description down below. Check out some of my cards. Hopefully we can make some deals. And now, back to the video. All righty, a little trade deal done. Moving the Wander, picking up Joe Burrow, Jalen Green, and SGA Silver. Good deals, appreciate you, bro. Uh, I probably couldn't. I mean, I have a little room off sticker, but but it's a uh, 700 sticker, so I probably could. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a buy it now up for 125. Really? Yeah. This, I'll check that one at 130. Now, buy it now is weird just because it was the last. So, how I get it, I missed this one, but it was 205, 253, 160 on the last call. I could do like 130. I mean, it's what you're gonna pay with shipping, but that would. And then that won't be that bad. I mean, maybe you could even move it if, you know, yeah, yeah, it'd be, the it'd be fine for me, yeah. yeah. All right, let, let's go individual. Like, right. even if we don't trade, right? Let's yeah. say you want to sell for 130. Yeah, right? that one's locked. And then, and then these. I could do, what is 80? I could do 170. 
on both of these. 170 on both of them? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you if, if you're getting everything, 50 bucks if, to pay me would be fine on it. I could do 150 on this one. I think there's an auction comp at like 122, 125 from a while ago. 170, 200, 250, 70, 130. Yeah. 500. Yeah. Okay, so I'll pay you 500 for it. Okay. If you want to do a trade on this, how much would you want to put on top? I'll, I'll be I'll be straight up with you. I would want to be into it for 400. I'd probably rather keep it. Okay. It's my yeah. only peak guy. Yeah, totally fair. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll just pay you 500 on this. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Venmo? Yeah, Venmo works. We got the homie John here. He's ready to beat me up. But he came over, blessed Vardy Gold, Werner, Chavi, Mudrik. How, how are we feeling? Oh, it's, it's, it's good. This is a good show. Like this is it. really good, bro. I'm surprised. Really, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like. I mean, that's the whole point of this video. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make my money back setting up. So I was like, man, what if no one's here? But this is. This I I, I don't want to hype it. This may be the best table fee I've ever spent. It was, it was 100 bucks to set up. Right? I, def I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to break even, but it's been good. Oh, wait, what else do we got here? You're hiding some stuff from me. Got the Musiala color match. I love the white parallels from this. The Kiwini Tiger is just nasty. So. I got a one of one for rock for the memes. Alrighty, mid show update. Dollar box has been going crazy. We have made our money back from a dollar box alone. We've done $125 in sales, and I'm doing like a deal too. I'm doing, if you buy six cards, you get one free, so five bucks. So that's really good. Bought a lot, it slowed down a little bit here in the afternoon, but I think I'm gonna try to do one more big deal. I have this messy auto I picked up at the National. Gonna try to work a deal with my guy, Henry. All right guys, we are back from the show now. We didn't work out the deal on the messy, but it's all good. Real quick, I wanted to show you a couple pickups that I didn't make on camera. All right, first pickups. I got this from somebody who actually watched the channel. He had a table set up, super fair. Sorry, I forgot his IG, but Curry Prism Silver, Jordan Love Mosaic Silver, Herbert Silver, Burrow Absolute, Justin Fields, Prism Black Silver. This stuff is pretty straightforward. This is just, just grading candidates. And it's like, you know, something like this only being in it for five bucks or less than five bucks. I, PSA, please bring back $15 grading. You get this in a 10, that's easy. Like, it just, when you can get the raw cards for, you know, less than 10 bucks and you're getting them graded for 15, you know, you're into them for maybe like 20 bucks and a 10, you're doing really, really well. You can, you can triple up and then even in a nine, you should have some room. So it's just like, with that, it's just like, I'll, I'll just, just want to do volume. You're not gonna make a killing, but if you can get a lot of them, do well. Justin Fields, that's, that could be pretty good in a 10. All right, next deal, Adley Rushman, top score refractor. That's just easy for the $15 grading pile. John Morant, I got into this for 500 bucks. Raw comps at 600. I think, you know, I'm hoping to get 700 for it. I don't think I should have a problem getting 600 for it. So I always think of it like that. I'm like upside, downside. My downside, I, I think, you know, nine times out of 10, I, I should be able to at least make some money on it. And upside, there's, there's I, I think I could do pretty well on it. It's one of those cards where it, it's rare enough, it's national treasures. I, I, I've, I wish I could explain this better, but, it's like unique. I don't know. If, if you wanna know more of, of what cards I, I wanna kinda of try to target and I explain that better, I look at eBay comps and everything. I, I did that in another video, sorry. You're not gonna to get to hear it in this one. Other pickups, this one didn't make it on camera, but this was pretty cool. Jalen Green Contenders Optic, Moses Moody Contenders Optic. Unfortunately, this one is like, this one is like messed up. Um, so I can't even sell this on eBay. I, I've, I've had my, my issues with people on eBay explain, complaining because there's like, a, you know, literally one faint print line on the back and they want to return it. This like, it's like lifted kind of on the front. So I, I, I wouldn't feel right selling this to someone on eBay and the guy probably should have mentioned it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the Moody's kind of cool. It's numbered to 35. I think I paid a little strong on this one. I was looking at comps wrong and that's just part of the deal, you know? Sometimes you, like, I'm gonna have some wins, I'm gonna have some L's. I don't think this was an L. I think I can, I'll still be able to do all right on it. On it. This especially was a good showcase card, bring this to Burbank, like, people will want this, I'll do fine, but probably not my best deal of the day. 
And this stuff, just nice soccer stuff. You know, there's there's just so much soccer supply now. I'm being very kind of choosy with, with what I pick up. It has to be, you know, golds out of, out of 50 out of 10 or contra out of, out of nine or a, a really in-demand rookie silver rookie ticket. Just kind of makes sense. A couple other things. I got this lot. This was a pretty cool lot. Look at this. Goat Tifi, red auto out of five. Inescu, Bobby Witt. These are pretty just straightforward. I got these at like a good percentage of comp. So just went for it. This one, you know, people might be like, why are, why in the world would you be buying a Nicholas Latifi card? I'll tell you what I paid for it. I paid $280. Why are you spending $280 on someone who's not even in F1? It's not just F1, but there's certain cards that the player or the driver, excuse me, doesn't really even matter because set collectors are going after it. And F1 2020 has a really, really strong set collector base. So a card like this isn't, if someone is going after the, the red auto set and they spent, <laughs> uh, you know, $40,000 on Max Verstappen, I think they'll be, uh, they'll be fine to throw me 350 or 400 on the Latifi. So that's at least what I was thinking. Just kind of a cool card, you know, F1 2020 st stuff. I've said it before, I've said it again. Kind of a believer, um, and I, I pick it up whenever I can, especially if it's around comps, because comps can be really uh, harsh on these on eBay auctions. All right, last few, we'll just kind of lump these together. This was an interesting story, and I feel bad about it, but I'll explain the situation. So Fraup, South Freelick Optic Auto, this kid, I was doing another deal. He comes by my table going through the dollar boxes. He pulls out a Mike Trout card. And he's like, hey, would you trade this for this? And it was far away. I had no idea who this was. You can't see any. That's the thing with unlicensed. You can't see any logos or anything. Um, I was like, uh, an optic unlicensed auto. I was like, yeah, that's fine, man. Like, you know what I mean? If he had really asked for that Trout $1 card for free, especially since it was like a kid, I, he could have just taken it. Um, so I just said, fine. I didn't see what it was. Um, then I looked at it later. I was like, oh my God, this is Sal Freelick Auto. Probably one of the few unlicensed cards that's actually worth something and i looked up the comps and it's like maybe like a 25 30 dollar card and i felt bad like but the kid disappeared i don't, I don't know how to make it right like <laughs> if you want to hit me on instagram man i'm happy to send you some money because this was a a kind of a one-sided trade but um interesting how this just randomly was was a really good uh pickup i feel bad about it but i i, I paid it forward i gave someone there was like an F1, a girl who was collecting F1 and I gave her a free slab later. So I don't know, I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to be a hero here, but that was just an interesting story. Durant, cool looking card for 15 bucks, why not? Uh, this was a PC gift. I, I forgot the, the Instagram of the guy who gave it to me, but once again, you guys have been so nice with the PC gifts late, lately. Wake Forest, thank you, man, I really appreciate it. And then one last deal from John, uh, Paqueta Tiger, Stri Tiger Stripe, another set collector chase, you know, Brazil, pretty cool. And then some golds. John is always super, super fair. I, uh, <laughs> he almost like, <laughs> not pressures me into making deals, but he's like, we're going to get this deal done one way or another. And he makes it really fair. So I'm like, all right, man, if that's, you know, if that's what you want to do, let's do it. So, uh, Gerard Dragba, two looking golds, decided to pick those up. But alright guys, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe down below. We'll see you next time. Peace.